Welcome to The Bible is Lit, Story Time, a cool paraphrase of the Bible for cool kids by a youth pastor who's not cool or a kid. I'm Pastor Jean Daniel, and this is the Gospel according to St. Matthew, Chapter 2, Part 1. After little itty-bitty perfect baby Jesus was born in the little town of Bethlehem, which means house of bread, in the region called Judea, King Herod was the local ruler, but still part of the much bigger and stronger Roman Empire. Magi, which sometimes are called kings or wise men, but also sort of kind of means magician. We do not really know their deal. Magi, and note Matthew never says how many, came from the east and went to the palace in Jerusalem. When they got there, they said, So where is the new little future king, baby? We saw a star rise, and that definitely means a king was born, and we are here to totally worship him. Baby to be the king of the Jews. Herod was not a new daddy and was most peeved and very much not okay with this. And apparently this caused a messy stir in the city. So he got all the priests and scholars and otherwise book-smart folks he could muster and said, So, uh, the long-prophesied Messiah, the Chosen One, where do we think he's going to be born? Your majestic dudeness in Bethlehem, they replied. Come on, we've been over this. The prophet wrote, Hey, Bethlehem in Judea, you are not no big deal. You're going to be a very big deal, because you will be where the one who will totally rule, the shepherd of my peeps, is going to be born. Herod called the wise guys back and whispered, So, uh, on the DL, when did that star show up? And he jotted down the date, subtly saying, Cool, 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 cool. He then told the wise guys, So, yeah, go look, like, super hard for him, and when you find him, just uh, let me know where you find him, and I'll come and worship him, too. <sniffs> After this convo, they skedaddled and followed the star until it stopped over where that probably toddler and walking by this point child was chilling. When they saw the star stay still, they were overjoyed and probably a little bit tired. They saw little toddling Jesus with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. This was literally the best kid ever. The original Father's Christmas opened up their hall and had an unboxing for the ages, gold and sweet-smelling frankincense and myrrh. Not traditional gifts for a toddler, sure, but Mary and Joseph would figure out what to do. They had been told to go back to tell Herod where the kid was, but Herod was shady AF. They slept on it. They all had dreams that said, nope, 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 don't talk to that guy again. And they got out of Bethlehem before anyone knew their names, how many of them there were, or exactly where they had come from. Not that that would stop a few millennia of rumors. Thanks for listening to The Bible is Lit. I'm Pastor Jean-Daniel Odenaha. I'd like to thank my patrons Veronica T., Christopher U., and Catherine S.B. If you'd like to support this work, please give in any amount you can at patreon.com slash jeandanielod, patreon.com slash jeandanielod.